Hey guys, welcome once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. And it's yours truly, Marlon Bledman. Today, right behind me, is our last of our 2020 M2 112s. And of course, this one is the big boy behind me. And this one carries the uh, Detroit Diesel DD13 engine. Partner with the Allison six-speed automatic transmission. And guys, when I say it's a big boy, this truck has 505 horsepower and over 1,600 foot-pounds of torque. Checking out this engine, guys, one thing I like about Freightliner and the way they build the engines is that it's so easy to work on. And of course, this one has a GVWR of 33,000 pounds. So just looking at this engine and looking directly what's behind it, this is our Cimarron Freedom toy hauler with living quarters and this is no match for this truck right here um, so having this fully loaded with everything in that trailer and having this truck you wouldn't feel anything like you basically you're just driving the truck and not knowing you you're pulling anything behind you which is something that's pretty cool about the 112s they could carry a lot of load looking at the hood has a soft close so if a strong breeze come while working on it it doesn't injure you so that's a good safety feature on there with a little push it would actually close that down and got two straps on either side that will lock the hood back into place gonna take a look at the tires right now these are a little bigger than the regular uh, 106s so this one is a 275 80 22.5s and People always ask why Summit Hauler um, is different from the competition out there, and here is one of the one of our uh, um, advantages is the uh, auto balances on all four tires, um, and that actually balances the vehicle while driving, um, and actually, you know, saves you a lot of wear and tear on your tires. So it lasts longer, your tires last longer, and of course. Um, the vehicle auto balances while driving by itself. Coming over here, checking out that Summit Hauler logo. This one was designed by the C9 company. And of course with the chrome front, just shows this beautiful truck coming towards you. Or if you turn at the back and see a Summit Hauler truck like that, it just brings out the beauty behind that Freightliner truck. The three-piece bumper, which is pretty cool. So if anything happens to any, of the bumpers you could just change those individually instead of replacing the whole bumper which is super awesome looking at the air horns we got two air horns on the top here and i'll make you guys hear what it sounds like in a minute and of course the windshield uh, visor which helps you with that you know the sun glare coming into the cab this is where the second strap is located either side and of course, like I said, the auto balances are on all four tires. When it comes to the steps, we do have the, uh, the diamond plate aluminum stairs. Very easy to go in and out of the truck. And one thing I like about the way we design our trucks is there's so much handles and safety rails to actually enter and come out of the truck. So apart from this silver one right here, we got one located here. We got a handle located here and of course on the door. We designed the interior of this one with black leather with white stitching inside and of course we got that carbon fiber look all over the truck. It's a nice you know detail feature um, all over the handles is that carbon fiber and of course the dash as well. Once we go inside we'll kind of show you what that is. Um, all our front seats are air ride so you have the air ride seats in the front very comfortable seats so it actually beats the competition out there how comfortable our seats are compared to our competitors um, our seats does come with heated and cooling seats so that's something to look forward to and of course warranty is, is super awesome on our trucks as well taking a look at the back seat it does fold and I'll run to the other side to show you guys a few things on here There is a switch located on the driver's side um, of the back seat. Um, 
and of course what it does is it folds the seat all the way down and it turns into a nice comfortable bed so if in case you guys need to relax stop on the side of the road truck stops just to take a few minutes um, of relaxation before you hit the road again this is very comfortable to actually sit on and of course it actually turns and reclines back into a bench and three people could sit on here comfortably right now you're not seeing the uh, the seat belts um, because right now we have it in the back but once it's time to drive you could actually put all three seat belts in and of course the buckle will come out from underneath the seat so everything is here for three people to sit down in here safely so all the seat belts are located in the back when not using it underneath the seat something i like to show all my friends is that sub they got a 12 inch sub underneath the seat and an amplifier that will uh, provide all the sound all the power to the speaker to the subwoofer and the speakers on top as well so it's all Kenwood sound system um, very clean sound very awesome clear sound as a musician I like you know playing my music while driving and I'm about to sell a, a, one of those trucks to one of my customers and one thing he mentioned was how is the sound on those trucks and I was like they're great and I could tell you that and he, he believed me 100% because as been, being a musician you know a lot of musicians have the F for music um, or, or, or the F for sound or good quality sound and the Kenwood speakers does give that in this truck looking at the DVD player for entertainment you got a live screen here never been touched never been used this is our brand new 2020 so you still have that sticker on there so whoever buys this truck I will give them the uh, the go ahead to take the protection. take the protection off that's like our you know our presentation it does come with some cool lightings on here the key has to be in in the truck and turned on to see those cool lighting so i'm about to go turn the key right now and i'll show you guys what that looks like all right so we got two switches located right at the passenger's uh, feet and one will turn on that infinity light i like to call it that infinity light mm -hmm. and then the other one will turn on that strip light right here so if in case you are driving and you you want to see something uh you want to read a book or whatever this light will actually work pretty well for you so with those switches turns it off as well down here we got usb ports for charging so you got charging ports all throughout this cab. So you got four in the back and you got another four in the front, which is pretty cool. So you have tons of charging options as well. I'm gonna take a look right down by you, have a 50 gallon diesel tank. And on my side have another 50 gallon diesel tank as well. And of course our depth tank on this side as well, on the driver's side. I'm gonna take a look at the front quickly. And this vehicle comes with a ton of options, like our power mirrors, power windows, power locks. We got an uh, optional switch here, and that actually turns on the light in the cab, in the back cab, um, for when you're hooking up to your, your trailers and stuff like that at night. Um, it has the automatic regen if you want to do that, but the vehicle, the truck actually regens automatically by itself but if you want to do a manual regen you have that button as well you have the back dump so all the air from the back will actually dump out with this button right where are we are right here <laughs> sorry on the other trucks have it and some of them have it up here so on this one it, the back dump is right here so when we are pulling into this trailer we are able to dump the air in the back end and we're able to you know easily go into the trailer instead of lifting the trailer all the way up to be able to sit that trailer in our gooseneck ball this truck does come with trailer braking system air condition the back air has its own switch so you could actually turn the air the cool air or hot air in the back vents and if we could just turn 
quickly. Uh, we got air vents on both ends of the, the back cab and that actually produces its own air. But with just the AC vents in the front, will cool the whole cab. But in case you have, you know, three people in the back here, sometimes, you know, they bring more heat into the vehicle. So you could actually put on um, the separate air in the back, which is pretty awesome. Tons of cup holders. Like I said, those seats are so comfortable, guys. This is one of our major um, enhancements when it comes to our Summit hauler, how comfortable those seats are. And of course, you got the dual horns. You got the regular horn right here. And of course, the get out of my way. I'm coming. You see me? Nope, you hear me now. That's, that's kind of horn that is. Um, so when it comes to the, the one thing I like to show people up here, um, you have the gauges up here. This is your diesel gauge or gas gauge, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can see how much fuel you have in your tank. This is your depth uh, light. So this actually tells you how much depth fluid you have here. All four green lights means go. So you have full um, diesel in um, depth fluid in the tank. And of course you have your primary and secondary um, air gauges here. So you could actually see how much air pressure you have P uh, PSI in both uh, of your tanks. Um, so that's a few things inside when it comes to the the Kenwood deck, it does come with navigation, so you already have your GPS on here. Um, you have Apple and Android Play on that system as well. Like I say, it does come with a subwoofer and two dual speakers up, up in the back, which produces some quality sound. Ah, one thing I missed, our unique Voyager system. So this is a separate screen for your backup cameras, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about putting, this, putting the vehicle in reverse to see the reverse camera. It's on here 24 seven. So one of my guys that is actually about to purchase one of our trucks, he's gonna be, uh, um, he's gonna be doing car hauling and he wanted to see his cars in the back while driving. And I was like, yep, you could actually position those cameras to tilt up and you could actually see more above the uh, trailer and you could actually see everything while driving. So you will basically know that your cars are, you know, behind you while driving. So this is a cool feature as well. You could add an additional three more cameras to the Voyager system. So, you know, three more cameras could be added to the one here. So a total of four cameras could be added to that Voyager system. So you could actually see a split screen in four and see four different views on that um, screen. Want to take a look at the back? Like I say, those uh, we build our, our back box very uniquely um, in terms of storage um, with the Western haulers and the um, Loretto's and all that. They got smaller boxes, but we design our trucks with bigger storage units. So you have more space to add, you know, more of your personal items or bigger items as well. Um, we designed the back end of this for people who love to put horse um, hay for horses and stuff like that you could actually put those in the back of the bed here tie those down or if people want to add additional diesel tanks it's easily placed in the back here and of course we could get that done here as well with our parts and service department so if you guys want to add an additional diesel tank to the vehicle uh, to the truck let us know and we'll be happy to help you guys out with that find a quote and let you guys know how long it's going to take and of course we could get that done for you um, after purchase uh, this one is a good snack um, hookup so you could act we could actually put a fifth wheel hitch on here as well if you decide to have a fifth wheel hitch and with the fifth wheel hitch we work with is the hensley saver fifth wheel hitch this would actually you know convert into a, a good snack ball if you need that as well so you do have that air ride system on that um, trailer saver hitch if you decide to add one to that. Um, I think Larry will be doing um, another video on one of our freight liners with the gooseneck ball um, with the Hensley saver hitch on there already so you guys will actually see it again or you could actually go through our history and see some of our trucks that have that hitch already. So this one is built in for that gooseneck trailer um, and of course we have our seven pin hookup right here. If in case you decide to put a camera onto this trailer, 
all the wiring will come through and of course we'll hook up that camera um, right here and it will go straight to our Voyager system screen um, in the cab. This actually um, also built with the uh, bumper pool. Um, right now we have a nice little plate on here to give it a nice clean look like I always say. Um, so when you're not pulling anything on the bumper, you could just close that off and avoid, you know, seeing that um, bumper pull hitch. It also has a seven pin hookup in here as well. So you don't have to come all the way up in the bed to, uh, to hook up your trailer. Rhino line in through, to the, throughout the sides of the truck. So if in case, you know, anything rub against it, it will not scratch or, or peel, um, you know, tremendously. Um, and of course, those are very easily to repair. So um, that's something to think about. Another thing that makes us unique is our 800 pound counterweight, which is located right underneath the back end of the truck. Um, this actually provides more stability um, with our trucks, especially when you're not hauling anything. Um, this actually helps with keeping the truck, you know, stable on the road because the front end is pretty heavy. The back end is light. Normally, you know, when you have that um, wind gust or something like that, you know, you have the, the truck kind of like moving back and forth. So we put that 800 pound counterweight in the back of our trucks just to keep it stable on the road without having any, uh, any trailer hooked up. So like I said, this is our, the last of our 2020 M2 112 um, Summit Hauler conversion. Um, it does have dual wheels in the back, single wheels in the front. Um, so like we say our pickups, they are dualies. Um, so you have the option here with the 112s or the 106s when it comes to our Summit haulers. So this one today represents you with the uh, 112, which has 505 horsepower and over 1,600 foot-pounds of torque. Um, GVWR on this one is 33,000 pounds. So the only, th the only downside about buying a brand new M2112 is the added 12% FET tax on the price of the, of the truck. So, um, it's a little pricey, but I mean, you get in the, you, you invested in a great truck that will last you a long, long time with regular maintenance, regular um, just checkups and stuff like that. This truck will go over a million miles for you. So um, keep that in mind. It is an investment. This will last you three, four times on a regular pickup. It will haul much more than a regular pickup. So. There's a lot of advantages um, about having a truck like that. So keep that in mind. If you guys have any more questions for me, like you normally do, uh, just give me a call. Um, yours truly, Marlon Bledman, 303-684-3412. Or you can call me on my cell at 661-755-4344. Or you could email me, marlon.bledman at transwest.com for any more information. And guys, I'll see you guys back here on Friday for another amazing video and stay tuned to see Larry tomorrow for more videos. And of course, again, thank you for tuning in to TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. See you guys next time.